What's up YouTube, it's Zapdos TCG here and thanks again for watching our TCG deck profile video on my channel. Today we're gonna check out the Lost March deck. Lost March is all about the attack here, dealing 20 damage for every Pokemon in our Lost Zone. And of course, Jumpluff knows the attack, but also Natu. Natu can do it for a simple DCE and uh, Jumpluff can do it for a Grass Energy. Jumpluff is a stage 2, which might, might make things awkward, but we have of course a Skip Loom with the Flower Way and the Sky ability. Once during our turn, we can search our deck for a jump level and put all the underneath cards in the Lost Zone. That means Skip Loom in the Lost Zone and of course Hop Up in the Lost Zone. That means two Pokemon directly in the Lost Zone and we have an attack that only requires one energy. Not only that, Jump Up has free retreat. So this is going to be a deck list that we're gonna talk about every single card in the deck list. And uh, there's going to be a lot of new cards from Lost Thunder. If you are interested in Lost Thunder content, be sure to subscribe to the channel. And if you enjoy the deck list, be sure to uh, let me know by uh, destroying the like button. That way I know I have to make more of these deck profile videos. So to start uh, the Lost Thunder content, off with deck profiles. We're gonna start with Lost March and uh, what is in the Lost March deck? We're gonna run four copies of Jump Lift. Jump Lift, as mentioned, you need four of them because uh, all the skip blooms want to evolve into the uh, Jump Lift eventually thanks to the Flower Way and the Sky ability and uh, you definitely want a lot of the Jump Lifts uh, in the deck because of course that's the only way you can get them out. It's uh, actually uh, kind of sucks if you have it uh, in the hand but things like Cynthia can just shuffle those Jump Lifts back in the deck because of course Skip Loom can just get them out directly and that is also a mechanic to put Pokemon in the Lost Zone. We're also gonna talk about more cards that can help putting Pokemon in the Lost Zone. You're just gonna love this deck. It rolls so quickly, it's uh, reminding me a lot of Night March, but uh, it's all about the Lost Zone this time around. That's why Lost Thunder, it's also in the set name, is all about the Lost Zone. So, four copies of Jahapip as well. There's also Netball, which I'm gonna talk about soon. Netball can get out Hopip uh, quite easily, and uh, if you get a Hopip out, you can just go into Skip Loon the following turn and evolve immediately from the deck to a Jump Lift to put those cards in the Lost Zone. Uh, we also have a Natu, which can make uh, things a little bit easier. Uh, this is just a basic Pokemon. This basic Pokemon can just uh, use it for a DCE. Lost March is the exact same attack, dealing 20 damage for every Pokemon in your Lost Zone. And to finish off our Pokemon lines, there's still a lot of Pokemons in this deck because uh, we need all of them in the the Lost Zone and then we have Trumbeak. Trumbeak is an interesting Pokemon, it has the ability Mountain Migration. Uh, if this card is in your hand, it's a stage one, <laughs> Just, you can never start with it, which is good. If this Pokemon is in your hand, you may put it in the Lost Zone. If you do look at the top card of the opponent's deck, if that card is a supporter card, you may put it in the Lost Zone, otherwise return the uh, top card to the opponent's deck. So very, very nice. These will uh, actually be your damage modifiers because sometimes you have a Trumbeak in the hand, that's an extra 20 damage for every Trumbeak. Just decide to put in the Lost Zone, not only that, it comes back with a little bit of disruption here because disruption you can just uh, check out what the opponent has on the top of the deck if it is a bad card you might play something like uh, yeah there's not even a judge in here but if you would run a judge it will also be kind of cool like that and if it's a supporter and they, they have to tell top deck a supporter well you're in good luck you can just put it in the lost zone to just set them back then for some other Pokemon we have one Oranguru one Alolan Vulpix and then two copies of Tapu Lele. Okay, these are all the Pokemon we have. There's a lot of them in the deck. Uh, what uh, are we seeing here? We have Instruct, of course. Our hand size will be low from time to time thanks to the Lost Mixer item card, which I'm gonna talk about later. Not only that, uh, make sure that you don't dead draw. You just have the Instruct ability, just drawing into something you want. And uh, if that's a supporter, you're just back on track. Not only that, if you draw into an Ultra Ball from that uh, the, the drawing three cards, you can just get your Lele, use a Cynthia, and uh, you're rolling once again. Not only that, we have um, the Beacon ability, Ability. Actually, not the ability, it's an attack which we can use for free on the uh, Alolan Vulpix, which is in the Guardian's Rising set. This is a promo card, alternate art. I just adore the art of the Alolan Vulpix, and Alolan Vulpix is an uh, ideal starter. Let's say you go second. Well, and on your second turn, you cannot do anything, so maybe you can just rely on Alolan Vulpix to just get out your puzzle pieces. You want some Trumbeaks or maybe something else. You can just use Alolan Vulpix, maybe let it uh, see the discard by, because they want to knock it out. Well, with that, we can just get maybe some Lele's for if we're dead, draw Trumbeaks if we want more damage or maybe a Skip Loom so we can uh, just uh, get rolling once again. So these are uh, all the Pokemon in the deck. Now we're gonna go over the supporters. We're gonna be running four copies of Cynthia. Cynthia is the most uh, consistent draw supporter in the format. Not only is it uh, uh, so good we can just uh, shuffle our jump lift back in the deck if we have it in the hand otherwise Skip Loom's ability will not work if there are no jump lifts in your deck so not only that, you can just uh, use that shuffle support and uh, you're just gonna get a lot of cards with that Lost Mixer. You can just get rid of a bunch of cards and not only that, you can just draw cards with the Instruct afterwards. Then we're gonna run four copies of the uh, Professor Elms Lecture. This is a new supporter card that I love very much because it's so similar like Bridget. 
This uh, Professor Allen's lecture lets you search your deck for three Pokemon, up to three Pokemon, uh, with 60 HP or less. And uh, that does not specify basic Pokemon, so you can get out your Skip Looms with that. You can get out your Hopips with that, your Vulpix, your Natu. So a lot of things can be brought out of the deck. And since we're running four copies, we're going to have one of them in the opening hand. Just get out your Hopips early game. Next turn, we can get out a bunch of Skip Looms out. And with a simple Net Ball, we can get an Energy. So more on Net Ball later. Uh, but we're, uh, we're just going to check out the supporters, the rest of the supporters. The only two Two Guzmas in here because we're also gonna rely on counter catcher because this deck will see uh, a knockout early game because look at the HP 70 HP 60 HP 40 HP definitely uh, everything is uh, will be able to one shot us but this is a one shotting machine deck as soon as you have a lot of Pokemon in the in the lost zone you can just smack for a ton of damage and against a GX Pokemon we're a one prize attacking deck you'll have an awesome time now to the item cards we're gonna run Four copies of Ultra Ball. Ultra Ball is just nice. It searches out your Pokemon, tends out your hand. You can rely on Instruct afterwards. And only that, we're also running Rescue Stretcher. So sometimes you can get rid of some Pokemon. Doesn't even matter too much because we have Rescue Stretcher. You just want your Skip Looms out. And with Ultra Ball, we can search them out. Not only that, we can also search them out uh, with the Timer Ball, the Skip Looms. And uh, the Timer Balls are kind of risky. I know sometimes they just fail. Uh, but if they work, it's fantastic. You can get out Trumbix with that. And uh, this is a stage one. And you can just put it immediately in the Lost Zone. It it has the damage modifier boost. If we get Trumbic out, we can get Skip Loom out uh, to just get immediately into Jump Lift. So two Timer Balls are awesome. And then uh, the new item card of choice is going to be four copies of the Net Ball. Net Ball is just like a Nest Ball, which we can grab a basic Pokemon. You don't have to bench it immediately. At just stage, you can just grab yourself a basic Grass type Pokemon, or you can grab yourself a Grass type Energy. So it's either one of the two. You cannot choose both. So uh, if you need an Energy, get an Energy. If you need a basic uh, Hop it for a for example, you can get that. Uh, it's way better than Nest Ball since Nest Ball in the late game would be a dead card and in this situation you can grab energies with it because this deck does not lot, uh, run a lot of energies. Next up we're gonna run four copies of Lost Mixer. Now you might think, what is a Lost Mixer? Well, it is an item card and it's a draw item card, which is good. This states put two Pokemon from your hand into the Lost Zone if you do draw one card. Why is this great? Because sometimes we don't even need a Alolan Vulpix, you can put it in the Lost Zone. Sometimes we don't need Tapulele, you can put it in the Lost Zone. So this can be a kind of a way to just thin out your hand, put the Pokemons in the, in the Lost Zone, while you just out more damage, draw an extra card, and uh, this is just very great in this deck overall. Then two copies of the Choice Band to hit some extra numbers, because uh, sometimes we just barely miss one hit KOs, and with Choice Band we are gonna get those one hit KOs, even though we only have, uh, just uh, as an example, let's say we have eight Pokemon in the Lost Zone, that's 160 damage, with a simple choice band that's 190 so that's why there's two copies of that in there then two copies of the rescue stretcher Rescue Stretcher can get back your Pokemon. They don't have a lot of HP. If they knock out a Jump Lift, it's kind of like, eh, whatever, because uh, your stage, actually your basic and stage one are already in the Lost Zone, but sometimes they knock out one of your Hoppips or uh, your Natus. You can just get them back with Rescue Stretcher because, of course, Ultra Ball can get rid of uh, cards in your hand. Sometimes you don't. You just want to recover something. Also great to recover a Tapu Lele or just to recover Trumbic if you, you just decided to put it in the, the discard pile for some reason just uh, to rely on Ultra Ball. Then, for the last cards of the deck, we have two counter catchers. As mentioned, you don't actually need a lot of Guzmas because you're gonna fall behind eventually. And if you fall behind, counter catcher can be an ideal way to just get back in the game. You get one one hit KOs on a GX Pokemon, you're back in the full swing, and then you're uh, uh, just uh, ahead in the prize race once again. So I do like counter catcher. If you think this deck is way faster, well, you can just scratch one counter catcher for an extra Guzma. The choice is pretty much up to you. But the counter catcher is something which you can draw into. Let's say we use cards like a Cynthia well you draw into counter catcher you can just target something but it only works if we're behind in prize cards and to finish off the list is very very simple we're we'll be uh, running four grass type energies uh, why do we need grass type Grass type energies, that's for the jump left, only one attachment. The thing I learned by playing a lot with this deck is that you don't want to get rid of your energies, don't ever discard them because they are the only ways uh, you can just attack with because uh, we don't have uh, energy recycle system, ma maintenance, whatever, or uh, we don't have special charge in the format anymore, so be very cautious with your energies because we only run seven energies in total. That would be uh, seven attacks which you can get off. And uh, with that, you should be able to get yourself the KOs unless you have a lot of energy surprise. But the good news is, Ball can search your energy when uh, 
the time is rough and uh, the DCE can be very very great if you just use rescue stretch from not to DCE and you can just reuse your not to. So that is the list, the list that I'm gonna showcase here for you today. If you enjoyed the list, be sure to demolish the like button. Let me know how you do with the, the deck list yourself. Test it out a little bit, tweak it a little bit. Let me know what you would change in the deck list and uh, that's it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I'll uh, be making more Lost Thunder content soon. So subscribe for more and I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. Thanks again for watching. Peace out.